Hi there and welcome to this episode of the Morning Message Motivation. Today what I'm going to talk about is what to do after your manifestation. Okay, You will manifest things. You've already been manifesting things. Whether you did it consciously or unconsciously, whether it was something you wanted, whether it's something you did not want. When I got to UCLA and got scholarships and graduated and got good grades, I didn't know that I was manifesting through visualization. I just knew that was my goals. I kind of did it unconsciously. I would visualize for two years what it would look like to be in school. And then I would act it out by studying, reading books. You know, writing essays of the books that I've read and borrowed from people. Because, you know, once you do one, you got to do another one. Okay. And um, same with um, your manifestations. When you manifest, you will get bored. Okay. After a while, because you have received your goal. Kind of like with me going to university, I got two degrees after that i was gonna get a phd but something inside of me didn't want me to go to the phd route anymore okay because all the denials and i'm like okay i'm not that excited anymore about it okay and something else was getting more excited getting me more excited which was entrepreneurship okay entrepreneurship and business and earning more money that's what got me more interested Okay, that's what got my interest. <clears throat> so, remember that when you manifest something, you must go on to the next thing, or else you're going to start sit idle and bored. The universe is always expanding. That inherent principle of life and growth, that inherent principle of life and growth, that inherent principle of life and growth is within you as you begin to manifest using these tools that i'm teaching you you must go on to the next goal this will become a way of life and a way of understanding okay i want to share a quote that that's amazing okay very amazing from thomas troward all right and before i go into that quote i want to share the way i manifest which is seeing somebody congratulate you or be happy for you share with them your your win your manifestation hey i already got xyz you know i'm already with this person xyz i'm already earning this amount of money and see them being happy for you okay now this is the quote that we must understand so that we con- are constantly growing and when we are constantly growing and working or just living life, right? Taking the action. You don't, call, you don't have to call it work. You can call it just living life. Taking action toward your goal. Then you are happy. We are most content when we have work to do. Because when we reach that goal and we manifest, that's it. That's what I'm talking about. Don't be idle. And here it goes. It's by Thomas Troward. And it's in um, the Dory Lectures. Quote, my mind is a center of divine operation." The divine operation is always for expansion and fuller expression. And this means the production of something beyond what has gone before. Something entirely new, not included in the past experience, though proceeding out of it through an orderly sequence of growth. Therefore, since the divine cannot change its inherent nature, it must operate in the same manner within me. Consequently, in my own special world of which I am the center, it will move forward to produce new conditions. I'm forgetting the last part. It will move forward to produce new conditions, none that have gone before. End quote. Okay. New conditions, none that have gone before because you are expanding, you are growing. And so if you're in alignment with the universe and going for new things, going for more things, innovating, and innovation is just an example, but for you, ha- having more money, that's something new for you. That's innovative for you. Having a husband or a girlfriend, maybe you never had one, that's something new for you, okay? And then when you reach it, go for 
more experiences. Do not stand idle, okay? Do not let that boredom hit you. We must live and life is growth and improvement. I love you. Until next time, remember, the journey is the end. Quote, the journey is the end. Or another quote that I like about the work is that a successful journey is the destination. As you're moving towards your goal and moving towards more goals, that's the destination. That's where we truly want to be. I love you. Until next time, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notifications button. And until next time, I love you. And don't forget, if you want to get more information on how manifestation works, click the description box. You'll see books that I've written, books on manifesting, books on the laws of the universe, books on health and fitness. Click on the one that resonates and buy it for yourself. I love you. Peace.